All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. I should probably drink a hassy. All right, let's see what trouble I can get into today. Um, so last time I went to the left and I died pretty quickly. Ah! Uh, uh, ah. <laughs> Don't weep. I probably should move this. Look. Wow, that is loud. Sorry if I screamed in anyone's ear. Um, had the mic a wee bit close to my face. And apparently I have it pretty sensitive. I would turn it down, but apparently the cats really want to be around me. I don't feel like kicking them to the floor. I'm just too nice. <clears throat> Alright, well, I guess that means I gotta go this way. Looks like I can't get to the uh, strip club or whatever that is yet. Um, I just remember I picked up a key card for it at some point. Oh, hey, look at that. I turned to try to clear my throat when I heard, oh my word, oh my word, I hate those things. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, so I don't know that I actually, um, I put up a video for um, Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, yesterday. Well, technically two videos. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I don't know that I actually talked about uh, Stuntman in it. I, I legitimately can't remember. But um, basically what's going on is I was getting really frustrated with Stuntman. And I'm still going to kind of play it behind the scenes. Um, like... As if I beat any of the stages, I will record. And... Oh, crap. Crap. And eventually I will hopefully beat that game. But I was... Oh, crap. <laughs> I was spending so much time in the same level, and I still hadn't even... Jeez. Oh. I had to stop swinging because I thought he was dead. All right. So anyways, um, yeah, all the effort I put into that level, I haven't even gotten to the end of it once. Um, I think I got kind of close one time, maybe twice. Hmm, hiccups, yay. Ugh, hiccups with an awkward uh, assortment of flavors. <laughs> but um, I didn't, I didn't want to keep on posting videos of me failing at the same track week after week. And I didn't want to skip a bunch of weeks posting nothing while I worked at it. So I decided to, um, I decided to just move on to, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, you know, so I could play something that I truly enjoy and that I've been looking forward to. <clears throat> Look, I love the idea of Stuntman, and I think there's a lot of fun in that game, but at some point I just burn out on it. Die. <laughs> I don't know if I'm wasting my time going backwards or not. I don't know. 
know how those didn't hit me. Yeah, I legitimately don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. Pretty sure this is where I had some kind of boss fight. Uh, and I can't go down. Ooh, or can I? <laughs> That's how stairs work. I probably did that last time when I fought the boss. It's just, it's so ridiculous. I already forgot about it. I think I went the wrong way. <clears throat> Trying to decide, um, I've been using this axe for a long, yeah, okay, I've been down here. I've been using this axe for a long time. There was, I did briefly have the lightsaber and then I died and just didn't buy it again. I'm trying to decide if I want to buy a different weapon and um, and try. The problem with the lightsaber is I swung too slowly, and like the axe has better combos, so the the lightsaber would kill him in fewer swings, but it took longer to do those fewer swings. It seemed to bounce him back, so I didn't always get the follow up hit. Man, they they love that uh, Resident <laughs> Evil concept of ooh, um, we'll have them uh, stumble as they get injured, which. <laughs> The point of having that on Resident Evil was so they didn't have to clutter up the screen uh, showing you, um, like, your health bar. They wanted that game... Jeez. <laughs> they wanted that screen empty and they wanted you in the moment so that game would terrify you. <clears throat> Whatever. This makes me think that I'm supposed to go the other way. Nephi? Yes? Uh. Oh my. <laughs> Crap. Yeah. I need to go back. I need to go back and go the other way first. <laughs> it's like a summon from Final Fantasy. Very nice. Ah, crap. I need, yeah, I need to go back. Um, since I triggered a cutscene, that leads me to believe that um that there's an item I'm actually supposed to pick up at the other side oh jeez crap oh my word I hate these things oh my word it's just your recoil is so bad All right, I'm actually going to cut out a whole bunch of stuff because when I went back, all that really happened was I killed the monster that killed me uh, last episode. Janine! And then hit a dead end. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut out that whole you trip. You did this? You I guess did she's this. not on our side after all. Yeah, jump to conclusions. 
I'm fine. Nephilim is not an enemy. I can see now what she's trying to tell us, but... But... Well, it's a vision. Hard to describe in words. She's not human. I think that's obvious. <laughs> I mean, she's still an intelligent life form, but well, how should I phrase it? It's as if her body and soul can be detached. The Nephilim we see now is her soul. Her body is in a different place? Don't think too hard. Alright. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. So... Where am I? Let's see. I don't know if this is the way we just came from. I guess we'll find out. Okay, okay. Um... Can I open this yet? This door is locked. Where am I supposed to go? Do I go back to, <laughs> to the theater place? Um... Wait, can I click on anything in here? Because I have power now? Who is it? Elliot. What's the code? My sweetheart. Yeah. So, do, do, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, oh, hey, I'm doing something. Hello, Chris, how are you? What's the blue blinking light represent? I don't know. I can't identify it. Unknown object. Well, how do you get into the research lab? I'm sure you can get in with Chris's ID. I wonder if this blue light is the cause of the disaster. Is this one of your hunches again? I'm not twisting your arm to come with me. Don't be a smart-ass kid. The electricity is back on. I can unlock the run road and open the door to the car. It's a lot safer to use the car. Merry Christmas! It's now the 25th. Oh, this is the worst Christmas I ever had. Damn, it's my payday. <laughs> Did you miss a date tonight? No way. Let's go. To the bank? No, to the place where the blue light's at. Call me when you need me, Janine. <clears throat> I mean, I could go to the bank. Uh, is this the right way? I wonder if this is unlocked now. I like dogs there. It's like, gee, the the computer is saying, hey, there's an object here that's not supposed to be here. I wonder if that's the cause of the problem. Oh, is this another one of your hunches? Like, really? All right, so uh, before the section that I'm cutting off, I, I legitimately don't remember what I was talking about. So I'm just going to dive into a conversation that I was having in the section that I'm it no longer exists. Haha. Uh -huh. um, geez, I'm bad at talking. So I was talking about light gun games. Um and uh oh man, it's a friend or a, a genre that I, I love. Watch out there. Okay. Uh, I guess not using that car. Um <clears throat> Me. Anyways, um, huge fan of light gun games. One of my favorite things to play in the arcade. Um, you know, I had uh, light guns for consoles. Um, you know, 
NES, uh, PlayStation, PlayStation 2. And then we went to the high def consoles and suddenly it's a, like a completely different kind of signal for the high def TVs and the light gun just didn't work. It was really frustrating. Isn't this what you were talking about with taking the car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Apparently I have no idea what Jean was, Janine was talking about. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so at first, uh, with the high def TV, I thought like light guns were basically dead, but then the Wii took off like crazy, and it kind of revitalized the genre for a moment. <clears throat> and it wasn't as good. It was, it was all right, but it definitely wasn't the same. Uh, similar with um, the PlayStation Move, it, it got the job done, but it wasn't the same. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Um. Can I head back to... This is frustrating. Um, the one thing I was really hoping for was, uh... <clears throat> was actually from VR. Like, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but man, I would absolutely love to see uh, um, new entries in some classic franchises like Time Crisis, uh, House of the Dead, and Virtual Cop. I would love to see those in VR. But anyways, I uh, found a YouTube channel. I think it was called uh, Drew Talk. And, um, oops. And he seems to be a huge fan of light gun games. And he has a setup. Like, there's uh, different companies out there that make light guns that you can connect to an emulator system for the old arcade games. And it was really cool, um, especially if you had the money to spend, like, um, <clears throat> basically, uh, like, they'd create, like, an IR sensor for you to, uh, place on your TV to track the gun. Um, and then... You could have that track different kinds of guns. Um, cheapest op option just being like a Wii moat. But uh, if you uh, were willing to spend the money, there were companies that made some really good quality uh, light guns. Um, even including like the recoil and everything to make it just like the old arcade games. And the biggest one, like the best one, um, looked like it um he was saying something about it like it even had a there was like a camera in the barrel basically so it was looking at it recording tv which would um <clears throat> allow it to work perfectly with emulators for like nes uh games because that was not necessarily a cam well yeah it would have been a camera uh the nes gun the way it worked was like the screen would flash uh, black and there would be a single white square over uh, the thing you were shooting at and if the gun was looking at the white square then uh, it would record it as a hit and basically that's why they called it light gun because it was looking for the light so between uh, like the IR sensor tracking the gun and the camera and the gun uh, tracking the screen it makes for a super um, accurate uh, experience. I'm going to die if I go over there. I want to go check out the bank, but I want to save. <clears throat> I think there's a save room right inside the right inside here. I want to kind of have like a backup in case I fail um, trying to get to the bank. Uh, kiss room. Oh, there's music. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> All right. 
So now if it fails, I can restart there. I'm actually going to uh, cut ahead again. Um, hope I don't die in the fishies. That is bull crap. Pretty sure I have the key for this, so Omega Club key. Let's see what's in here. All right, we got a Hassie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's all. It's over there. Uh, dead stripper. Uh, there was something blinking over here. Another Hassie. Yeah. Okay. Steak plate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I'm. Now I'm happy I came in here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is that the same kind of weapon I had before that I thought was kind of garbage? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I might use it. Okay, so the Omega Club wasn't a complete bust. Um, I don't need a Hass yet. I do need to get back to that area, though. Uh, I can go to the bank and I don't know what the numbers are, but I mean, I can look them up online and get money. It's so bright. <laughs> My word. Why does giant robot look like a wearing a thong? All right, so I'm back in the store. Um, why don't I take that elevator up? There was that one room that I couldn't get to. Um, I highly doubt I can get to it yet, but yeah, it's worth a try. Yeah, I don't think I have a key card for it. Jeez, won't even let me click on it. Okay. What? I've had more than 3,000 for a long time. I could have entered this a while ago. Ooh. Oh. See, that's, I think I have one of those. 
Oh, okay, I need the vending machine. Okay, first let's uh, take a glance at what I have. Uh, napalm, bazooka. Backs. Okay, railgun, galleon. Okay. I wonder if... Okay, good. Except I have a gatling gun. Holy crap. Okay, so I have these, and okay, it doesn't show them as... I saw that, and like, Ray, Rail, I just, I thought, oh, okay, it's showing sold out because I have to, because I already own it. I don't have 800,000. Holy crap. But I have the other two. Iron fist. Okay, I got the race sword. <laughs> Wrestle. Oh, I'm probably going to buy that before I leave. I got to see what his, he does in a wrestling shirt. Uh, laser. Missile launcher. Napalm launcher. Let's see what the other vending machines do. But I bet those are e ammo. Okay. Ray gun battery. Okay. All right, cool. Um, let's see. I don't have a missile launcher, did, did I? I think I had a rocket launcher. Bazooka. Okay, so sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. All right, so I went ahead and died, and I went back. Um, I didn't buy the laser. Um, I did get Dogs' his wrestling shirt, so let's see how well that works. Really? That's a professional wrestler, huh? That was worthless. Yeah. I'm wearing the wrestling shirt. Oh, that was a waste of money. Oh, well. Don't really care. Got other important things to do. I'll uh, switch to uh, Elliot with his demolition fist. <laughs> yes. Literally, these are fists used to punch a building down. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, so could be wrong but as far as I can tell um, I know that I know that there was a gate here and I might be able to go through it now I don't know 
I don't have the key card for this door. I legitimately don't know what to do now. Jeez, I'm gonna head back to Janine for a minute. I need to stop playing this. Yeah, it's gotta be careful because I don't have the range. Um, I feel like with the axe, I have that big sweeping hit. Same thing with like the lightsaber, or I'm sorry, the ray sword. So I have to be careful because um, it'd be easier for me to get attacked from the sides. But as long as I can keep everyone ahead of me, then these things do great. <laughs> Oh Take my. Care. Okay. How about a hey, here's what you're doing? <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Take care. I, I get it. some progress but I don't know where to go now one more thing I'm gonna try Yeah, because the crab, the giant crab was holding a car key. So that's the car she met. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm so glad I decided to try one more thing. Yeah. <laughs> you show him. <laughs> okay, I think that's where I came from. So Chris's ID. Well, fine. Jeez. All right, new area. And a hassy. Yeah. Dude, show some respect. You can pick up a pop without climbing on top of the, the table. Ooh, and a new hassy lady. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know this area. I remember it from. I'm not sure if I I've ever gotten this far myself. Him. I guess you'll have to go without changing. Do you think it's safe? Probably not. If not, we'll have to find a bigger size. found something in my pocket. Ooh. Ooh, a lounge key. <clears throat> Anyways, um... <clears throat> I don't think, uh, as far as me, myself, I don't think I've gotten this far into the game before. 
but I do remember uh, this area from watching Game Informer play it. So, uh, I know we're coming up to some interesting stuff soon here. Uh, I don't want to go too much further. Nice. And a hassy lady of boot. Yeah. Yeah. Santa's outfit is size LL. Hey, what are you suggesting? It's perfect for you. I guess I have no choice. It suits you. When you have a kid, I'll visit you from the chimney. Creepy. That day might come soon. Oh boy. Gee, I wonder if this is a Hassie machine. Look at that, Hassie. Man, got some food options. <laughs> or, or Hassie. Hey, something besides just Hassie and Hassie and a sandwich. Uh, let's see. Let's go straight ahead for step back and go straight ahead. Why am I still playing? Okay, that's where you need to be clean. Just gotta step through. So let's go explore the lounge area, and I should be able to find a safe spot that's there. I need to end this episode. But I'm excited. I got to a new area. Uh. Look at that. It's a bathtub. Cool. What do you mean, cool? We stink. It's the smell which lures out these reasons. Really? Of course I'm joking, idiot. Watch it, you old coot. Careful whose leg you're pulling. Stop babbling. Let's go. What? Are we going to go take a bath together? I'm going to take a bath. Nothing's going to stop me. What are you'll do if the monster attacks you while you're butt naked? I'll fight back butt naked. Stop whining. Let's jump in the tub. I'm not sure if this is such a good idea. Hey, in the tub we go. Taking a bath in the middle of a battle. <laughs> that cool. Well, I guess. Hey, you're more macho than I thought. Shut up. Oh my. This might be the last bath I can take. I see. Should we go? Well, I hope that was as good for you as it was for me. I'm going to go find a safe area. And I think I've had all I can. Do not leave water running. Well, I can hear the water running. I think I've had all I can take today. I don't know where to save, though. And yeah, none of these are saves. Crap, I'm going to I'm gonna have to go through that. Uh, let's check the... I don't see one in here. Check where I found the clothes. I don't remember seeing one, but it's worth another glance. Nope, nothing in here. Just Hassy ga Gals. Just the Hassy Gals. Alright, so I'm going to have to go through that uh, clean area and hope that there's uh, one close by. There wasn't one in the parking garage, was there? Clean check passed. You are now permitted to enter. Sure hope there's one in the lab. Oh yeah, that's clean. 
Uh, oh, experiment room? That's yeah, probably not where I want to be. I just want to save. I think the light was coming from here. The blue light, which can't be analyzed. Blue light. Let's go. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. I, I need to save. Okay, that's where I came from. Let's go further down here. Hey, a kiss room. All right, <clears throat> so tune in next time to figure out what the blue light is and maybe, just maybe, a little more bath action. Yes. Oh, boy. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I did. Until next time, my dear friends, until next time.